Five brand reps from ANF with two things in common. We all work in an ANF store and we're all going to learn to sail. Vince is the captain. He had enough of the flatland. So he bought a 60 foot sailboat and moved to the Virgin Islands. I leave New York City. I came to the Caribbean to have a good time. Enjoy your sailing weather and sunshine. That's all that's fun for me. Here on my holiday. And I want to wish for sure I ain't going back New York no more. We're going to go probably straight over to Yost Van Dyke or St. John first. To do that, we're going to sail out this way and we're going to leave tonight. And so we'll do a little night sailing because we want to get out into the British Virgin Islands. And if it's late enough and we're all tired, we'll stop here in front of Keneal Bay, which is sort of my backyard. It's where I live most of the time. We'll probably wake up there in the morning. I'm sure you guys will all be up at sunrise exercising and stuff like that. Always <laughs> are. What do you need us to do? Like, you okay, well, this is, this is awesome for me. I got five crew here, so I'm going to put you guys to work. Starting out with the sailing, I'm going to have you doing like hauling the sails up and trimming the sails, that kind of thing. Cause, and hopefully, if I get to just sit there and watch you guys do all the work, that'll be one. <laughs> You're going to be the mainsail hauler for me. What you got to do first is this is the mainsail halyard. That's the line that hauls it up. Okay. So we loosen this clutch a little. Okay, Amber, you're going to be our mooring dropper when we get underway. When I say okay, just undo that. Just that one? Yeah, oh, the whole thing? And let the whole line go in the water. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's simple. Yeah, it's not a big thing. Okay, the boat's packing. You're pulling up the slack. It's flopping. Right when it gets to the shrouds there, you want to give it a good hard pull. The person tailing will probably be standing where I am. Put a foot up and just get your back into it to pull. Right as it flops around the shroud. If you do it right, it'll get in and take about two cranks and the tack's done. We're all set. Let's go. Okay. completely re-rigged say 15 years ago okay. and the rig is in is in good shape, good shape yeah. it doesn't show any problems at all cool. from down here but it's really important to go and check it at the top of the map would you just hurry up and get to the top <laughs> yeah for real we're getting tired man <laughs> let's go up man You know the first night when I came home I was drunk as I could be I saw some boots in the corner where my boots ought to be Oh come here little wifey, explain yourself to me 
Why is them boots in the corner where my boots are to be? Oh, you're playing fool, you're drunk fool. Can't you see? There's only a thing that might be for me. We've been in this world no, for far too long. Let's all do a round of row, row, row. Oh, yeah, that's a perfect note. There we go. I don't know about you guys, but I'm totally stoked about tomorrow's race. Oh, yeah. Really well. yeah. No doubt. So, Vince, is it like a football team where we each have our own position and we know where we're going, or are you just going to be like hollering, yo, you do this, this? Basically, we'll have grinders on the winches for the jib, and I want somebody in charge of the main sheet. And I'll need somebody on the foredeck calling the jib for me. And But you never know. I mean, it, it's so dynamic, you never know what's going to happen. So we're really going to be the fastest boat out there. Rainbow Maker is really good. Most of the time, I'm the first over the line in these races and stuff. Yeah, there's, there's the two boats that can give us a run for our money. And if we don't do it right, then we won't be the fastest boat out there, and everybody will know.